my guide for today. What are you going for today? Let's see if we can get some striper. Uh, give us a little morning update. Oh. Haven't found them yet. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. Dude, look at that one. He's got a fish, I think. They're better fishermen than we are. <laughs> All right, what's for lunch? What'd you bring us? Oh, custom balls, baby. <sighs> you think we're gonna skunk today? All right, man. Ready? Let's do it. See you guys in a bit. Man, crawfish pinchers everywhere. As red as they come. This was a big one. Something got to it though. Yeah, it's a nice day at least. That's what you say to make yourself feel better when the it's fishing sucks. <laughs> Alright guys, we are back. Tyler Jackson, he's my official striper guide for the day. And uh, he's let me just, fired. No, I'm just he's kidding. fired. <laughs> so yes, today has been tough. We had high hopes and uh, nothing has come to fruition yet. We still have, you know, five, six more hours out on the water to try and catch some striper. Maybe go for some bass if we're desperate. I don't know, man. What do you think? Just keep going at it. Yeah. Gotta find some schools. Hopefully. <laughs> so we just finished up a delicious lunch of Uncrustables, granola bars, turkey jerky, and like three chips that were left <laughs> in that bag. So we're all fueled up, we're ready to go. Let's pray we get a striper because if I don't, it's gonna hurt my feelings a lot. Whatever you think, guide. Whatever you think. No tip for you today so far. No. All right. All right. We got the skis. Mm. So we're jutting towards that boat. Sounds like a plan. It could happen at any moment. It's the mystery of fishing. Oh yeah, finally. God, it took a long time. Oh my gosh, I did not get the skunk. Thank you, Lord. Nice one, dude. Woo! Oh my God, that's like, including last year, that's like uh, 15 hours of striper fishing for one striper. Alrighty, swim jig action. Oh man, that feels good. Finally, ready. We finally got a striper. Not a big one, but we're on the board. All right, guys, so I'll try to explain exactly what I was doing to finally get a bite and finally catch a fish. So, right now, we've got an incoming tide, water is rising, and I mean, you probably can't tell, but this is all one giant flat. I mean, this is like less than four foot in most areas. Right now, I was kind of finding, I found like this little, I don't know, roadway of open water where there wasn't grass. You can see it right here. And uh, let me just pedal along, but I can kind of see where it gets darker, where the grass line is, but it's like a little roadway. And I was just casting in this little roadway to the, uh, to the edges and working it back. And you can see right here, on the side imaging, there's clumps of grass on each side. And I'm just staying right in between and following that path and that fish was right on the edge. So another incident where the uh, the side imaging came in handy and you know, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna follow this as far as I can and just keep casting because that is the first striper I have caught intentionally in my life. Striper, right? Oh yeah, another striper. Beauty. Not the same size. Not the same size. All right, we'll take them. Good old swim jiggy. Little one. Ow. Man, choke that thing. <laughs> it's fun. That's a fun bite, though. These fish are so aggressive. It's not coming out. Number two. That was a fun bite, man. Oh, I just swiped at it. Did you see that? 
see that? The little one just swept at it. <laughs> There we go. Dude, I finally got a fish on an S waver. First fish ever on an S waver if I can land it. I think it's a good size. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Dude, that's a good striper. Oh yeah, I swear for striper, dude. Ooh. Sick. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a mess. Hook mess here. Sometimes the line will like wrap around them a bunch of times. Well, I want to get the bait in there too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this day has turned around for sure. My guide, Mr. Jackson, he's got the phone right now. He's put me on some fish. Finally, first ever, got a fish, a striper, on the old S waver. Fun, fun bite. Not a giant. But a fun fish. And like right on that line, there's like some kind of weird grass edge that like goes to bare bottom to clumps of grass. That's probably the ditch right on the edge. So the edge. Just clobbered it. Oh yeah, it's a fun bite, dude. Dude. Are you serious? That happened last it's time. That deep though, right? That's happened. That happened the last time we were here, dude. <laughs> How deep is it? Could you hit your net on the bottom? It's like four foot. She's gone. That's my tradition here. Remember when that happened last year? <laughs> no. It's the same way too. <laughs> it's the same way because it's such a piece because it only goes like. At least I caught a damn fish on it. I'm not even mad. At least this time I've got some fish in the boat. <laughs> you might be able to. Oh, I thought you had it for a second. I looked up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. Is it? Oh no, it's a good striper though. Dude, right, right in the reeds, dude. I just made a cast and my line just started swimming off. Choked it. So that's the only time I've really ever caught striper is just like casting towards tulies for bass, catching them by accident, but we'll say that was intentional. Thing. I really choke it. All about the same size, but man, that's fun. Yeah, I think so. It's a good, it's killer, man. So this is a bait Tyler lent me, the Six Sense Divine swim jig. And uh, what's awesome about this jig is this Kitek, and Kiteks are kind of pricey. It's got like a screw lock, so you basically screw lock your trailer in. This is the same trailer I've had all day on Six Striper, and it looks like it's still holding up fine. So thank you, Mr. Jackson, for the swim jig. Alrighty, guys. Sun is about to set, about to make our way back into the launch, but uh, yes, 
Today's video, second part of the striper hunt, was a success in my mind. Finally caught a striper intentionally, meaning I've caught them in the past, but actually targeting striper, finally caught some intentionally, and uh, first S waiver fish ever, which was a nice bonus, except that I lost it about two minutes later. Whatever, I got a fish on it, that's all that counts. Successful day, man, it was fun. It was a fun bite, definitely an addicting bite. Almost felt like a catfish bite up at Clear Lake. Just a super aggressive fish, and uh, they were smoking that swim jig today. So that is the video for today. Yes. Maybe I make a cast back there first, but uh, that is the video for today. As always, thank you guys for coming along. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.